took, went with my family back to the Azores uh, two years ago, first time since I was a baby, uh, because I couldn't remember it at all. And my brother, my older brother, could remember it. So we went back, and six of us, and we had a very interesting week. Uh, but it's um, I, 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 the, I, the language is familiar to me. You know, when I when I hear people speaking it, I can't speak it, but I I kind of uh, feel at home. I, like everybody else, when I started to write, I started to write from life because you write what you know. But you can't really sustain a, a, a long career because the subject is quite small. So if you you know you write it over and over again, it gets boring. So I started quite early on to diversify, and that's really what interests me is to do all kinds of different things. So I've written films and directed films and written plays and directed plays and written musicals and written opera libretto and, and I just like to do different things, television. Uh, I spend much longer planning than I spend writing. I find the writing is not, diff if you've planned it properly, the writing is, is quite, is, comes quite easily. I won't say easily, it's not easy, never easy. But it does get, as you go with each script, as you st it's difficult when you start, but as you get to be halfway through, you begin to understand what you're doing and, and it gets faster and faster. Um, I only started doing opera librettos because, um, because uh, Philip Glass uh, wrote the music for one of my films. So I got to know him and, you know, so it comes from different, comes from different places. And, but sometimes it's, uh, you know, to start with it was always just an idea that I had. Or, but now it comes from all different, er you know, different areas of stimulation really. But when I adapt my own plays for the cinema, I, f I feel a certain freedom, so I can do things to my plays that I wouldn't do to other people's, uh, because uh, the business of translating from one medium to another is quite mysterious. But it's there are there are certain rules that that, that I've learned to observe. I find it nice to work with younger directors, and sometimes you're not on the same wavelength. Or, I mean, it happens, it's worse in the theatre, I think. Generally speaking, with films, I've, I've had good experiences. But, but in the theatre, often, you'll, you'll find a, a, a director who has ideas that, about your play that you don't agree with, or, and then it's a big fight. The key relationship, really, is between the writer and the director, and, and the work that you do between the time you finish the script and the time the director starts shooting is the most important work. And, 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 and if the director is good and the relationship is good, you'll only make the script better. So that I've written more than 50 screenplays and 17 have been made. So that's one in every three maybe, which is very good, but it means that there are two in every three that don't, don't get made. And some of those are very good. I am at the moment finishing a six part television series set during the Second World War about, uh, set in 1942 in Singapore, which was a catastrophic defeat for the British. The Japanese took Singapore in a matter of weeks. Uh, and also I'm doing, I, I also do translate plays a lot. So I have two plays coming up that I've translated in London uh, before the end of the year. So.